the Plotcast podcast with the Potty Plotters. So here we are in Julia's polytunnel, and Julia, they look like Christmas baubles. What on earth is cracking off here? <laughs> Me melons, duck. <laughs> so I've got quite a few melons now growing on the plants, the three plants. And what I've been doing is I've been, my husband eats a lot of oranges and I've been saving all the nets that the oranges come in and I'm going to use them to support my melons because obviously some of them are a bit far apart so I can't support them in a bra because that wouldn't work. So come down with me, Lou. Okay. And... <clears throat> When you put the uh, net in on the melon, do it before it gets too big, otherwise you won't be able to get it in the net, the, the hole that you've made in the net. And all I'm doing is I'm tying the net in ar around the melon. Can't get in now. And the reason I'm doing this is because, as you know, Elaine, they do get quite weighty, and on these very thin vines, they could easily snap, and we want them to get to their full capacity. And so all I'm doing is finding somewhere in here just to suspend them and that will help support them as they grow so they don't fall off Elaine. That's a brilliant hint and tip actually Julia and joking apart we do use bras occasionally don't we? We do, we do and we have used them for the melons before but as I said they're quite far apart in here but anything that will support them and give them a little bit of uh, help will stop them breaking the the vine and the good thing is you've put this great big zimmer in here so it can help you to get up off your knees <laughs> thank you i've not got as far to go as you though have I? <laughs> subscribe to the plotcast now search potty plotters plotcast on spotify or apple podcasts and click follow to never miss an episode <laughs>